Hi everyone, welcome to the shed. I'm just on my pre-build um, inspection. I've got a new light, so uh, I can actually see what I'm doing. I've noticed some things which I'm going to have to get around before I start. So what we'll do is we'll take the bearing and we'll put it into its place. Now, as you can see, that bearing sits lower than the surround. We've got the split compression ring, which is raised, and that will bring it up above where it needs to be. So let's put the split compression ring in. And we can see that that now sits proud. However, when we take the first part of the spacer for under the stem and put it on, it doesn't actually touch the compression ring. So the bearings aren't taking any load. This is just rubbing on the frame surface. So I'm going to have to space that up somehow, either by putting something on top of the split uh, compression ring, something in there, or something that the bearing can sit on in the groove. Also, you may remember these bars from the unboxing video. If you go back to the unboxing video, when I'm looking at the bars, you'll notice that there's something in here. I managed to fish the end and I didn't want to touch it anymore until I had my camera. But if I can go around get a little grip of that and then start to pull we can see that I've got some stuff inside let's see if I can get it out without breaking it here it comes so that is inside my handlebar um, yeah, so I thought I'd film that, chuck that away. Right, now the handlebar is empty and uh, that was the issue that I had, issue solved. Um, another issue that we have, it's not the fault of the bike, it's just the way it is, is I don't have enough DR2 E-tube wire to go up here and then collect the wire from the bars into my wireless unit. In my setup, I had enough wire to go to there with the wireless unit and then coming down from the bars through here, it got to there. So I was that much short. So I've had to order um, a new 650 mil E-tube wire um, which is going to delay the project by about a week. Bearing. So I've ordered a new um, 8 mil bearing that should enable this to sit onto the sp split compression ring and then uh, work the bearings rather than rub, rub, uh, rub the top of my frame. On here you can probably see uh, two marks, one there and one there. So what I've done is I've put all the spaces on top of this and then the stem and then marked it. And then I've taken all of the spaces out except the bottom one and the top one, which you need. And then I've marked it again. Cut it there, then cut it there. I can put it up with all the spaces and have this bit supported. And then if I want to take the spaces out, I can just remove this bit because I don't want to run with a unsupported stem clamp. Just I'll crush the, uh, the carbon there. Um, I put in the Hambini bottom bracket I've never seen a crank spin that freely in my life. That's crazy. Okay, so that's all cut down and we've put it in. This is the maximum number of spaces I can have. I've got a five mil, uh, just a ring there, a really long compression plug. And that is the two parts stacked together. You can see it is that line just in there. That's where it's cut. So I can put that in, push down on the stem and compress everything. That's what I'm going to do there. I'm just going to take the spaces out so you can see. Okay, so I've taken the top off there. This piece is just going to be removed and then you can remove, put the top one back on. 
and we'll drop the handlebars on. Okay, handlebars are on. Plug can go in. Five mil spacer, that will push down on there. So that is perfect. So now I've got scope if I want to reduce my spacers. Okay, all hope is not lost because I found a thicker bearing. This is the one that came supplied. Uh, it is a 52745. And I've just looked in my bits from the R9, the bike that was warranty, that was cut up. And this is a 52 times 8 times 45. Perfect. Another thing just on the setup I may not be keen on is the angle of the out front computer now. It's um it kind of points away from you. Do you know what I mean? Because you're gonna be kind of looking at it from here. It's kind of pointing away. If it was if it was bent up slightly, that would be cool. I might be able to bend it or I might be able to find a cheap one on AliExpress just to uh to buy um it sticks out quite far that's as far back as it can go so if i do end up using it i can just cut a bit off and slide it in further okay so what i've actually ended up doing is i've not used the eight mil bearing i've used the seven which is the black one um because when i put the top cap on the eight mil bearing it just was rubbing the frame when i tightened it down so i've got the seven mil and i've bought this one mil neoprene washer and what I've done is I've stuck it onto the split compression ring. You can see there, that rubber bit on the top. I've stuck it on there. And when I put the top cap down, at the moment we've got a gap, but when I compress it down, that pretty much goes almost to nothing and it doesn't rub the frame. So that is my solution for that. Also, the 650 mil wire has come so now i can go right up to here and out of there that's perfect so now i think i've got everything sorted and we can get on with the building so if you like the channel give me a thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you on the next part of kairos house take care bye